I'm Fausto Rossetti. I'm a student here at Northern Michigan University, and I'm also a professional automotive photographer and content creator. So for me, I really started pursuing automotive photography back in October of 2022, where I first shot a Lake Superior Performance Rally, or otherwise known as LSPR up here up at school, which is uh, one of the rallies held uh, for the Aero Rally Championship held up here, it's the last one. And so I got the chance to see Ken Block racing and a ton of other really cool cars racing and also take some pictures of them. And it was my first time really doing some automotive photography and that really got me going. And then other content creators such as Life Through Optics and Shots by Tom were huge inspirations to me in wanting to pursue automotive photography more. So as far as what photography means to me, I love being able to capture the essence of each of the cars that I shoot, especially with a lot of manufacturers pushing towards electric vehicles and us not knowing how long some of these vehicles and certain brands and such might be around for. And then also just being able to share all the memories and stories that each of the image captures with all of my audience and such and let them get a feel for my whole journey and all of my adventures. So most memorable shoot for me has been the RWB Porsche that I shot last summer. It was an absolutely incredible and once in a lifetime opportunity and such a special unique car. Uh, this car in particular has a RWB body kit that's built by Nakai-san who's a Japanese tuner legendarily known and he hand builds them in Japan in his little shop and then has to ship them out and personally install them onto your car whenever it's your turn on the waitlist. This RWB in particular uh, is named Nora, and some of the more special ones get names just like this one. This one was made by Nakai himself for himself, basically, and he built it for the States to be able to drive in whenever he was down in California for other builds that he was making. And then it eventually made its way out to Chicago, and it's the only RWB currently in Chicago. This shoot holds a super special place in my heart because I got the opportunity to be able to take one of my shots, one of my favorite images, and then get it printed to, I think I did 24 by 12 if I remember correctly or something like that. And then I basically sent it out to the owner and he took the image with him personally to one of the RWB builds that happened down in Atlanta and he got it personally signed by Nakai himself and then I have a picture of um, when he got it signed and such and then I have it framed and hung up in my room. So other areas of photography that I do, one of them is underwater photography. I do a bit of scuba diving and whenever I get the chance to I'm always doing underwater photography and capturing the underwater life with my camera that I have. I also do film photography, mainly with expired film that I've been able to collect over the past few months. I like experimenting with a lot of different types of expired films since they give a really unique look. I've also gotten the chance to shoot Aerochrome, which is a super expired and rare film with the rarest in the world that gives a super unique infrared looking effect. In terms of social media growth, the main important aspect that you should really be worrying about is consistency. For Instagram, getting reels out uh, three to five times a week, if not daily, is one of the most important things that you can do. Reels compared to regular photo posts get pushed much, much more to a non-following audience. And the more content that you get out, the higher chance that you have of getting a viral video, which will in turn lead to account growth and getting more followers and views and such. One of the many things that a lot of creators end up doing is getting stuck up on the other numbers like followers and likes and such like that and they end up getting discouraged because they don't see as much account growth as they would like to see. The moment that you start worrying less about all of the other numbers and just worrying about getting content out and focusing on just growing your skills and such is the moment that you'll finally be able to notice good account growth because you'll just be getting much more content out with a much higher likelihood of getting more viewage and such and potentially being able to grow your account to a higher status.